Wow. So today, Fudger. <laughs> Silverado. 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 Yes, look, one pile of silverware for coin now. It is just. Well, if you read the sign in the window. Okay, this truck is fucked. Uh, 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 Fooked. This cut. This, this food because we got we got told off last week. It's foo barred for now, and not so worth stealing. Not worth stealing. Sorry, I like the sorry bit. At yeah, the the end apology of it. for like the, the fact that you can't nick it. it. So <laughs> we have been. Oh, it's not us, was it, Timothy? Timothy? I did send him the Facebook Marketplace link to it. So you it, technically it is your fault. It's my fault. Yeah. So it is a long bed Chevrolet Silverado. Mm -hmm. Under here is a 350v8 i think i'm not sure yeah because most of the 350v8 will show everyone is in there i have a carpetator that's inside okay yeah and i've got some more engine bits including the manifold and some cylinder heads in the back wow so what along with a load of two the tires they is not good we have one correct size one which is fitted there yeah that is not the right size one. No. This one over here has now fell off the rim since we got off a lorry with a forklift. Oh, so it's done its self removal. Oh, yeah, she's. Oh, lovely. she's yeah, yeah. She, but she, what, we had to blow <laughs> up yesterday to get out of the shed, which they hadn't seen in a bit of time lapse. It um, went down pretty quickly. So, what it? we do need to do, we're going to open the hood of power, aren't we? We're going to go a bit vice grip under what is in the power barn because we haven't really had a look in here. Well, I, I would say there's... Less than we were expecting. <laughs> I don't think that's going to run as it is. No. There's the fact we've got the distributor cap hanging... Should we bring these good bedroom yeah, for, come, for come, a bit? Yeah, come and have a look at what, 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 what we've, we've got. got to deal with. Right, so as you will be able to see, see Fudger, we've, we've got most of an engine. What have you done? No, I haven't done anything. I did not buy this. I just may have installed the idea in someone else's head that they possibly needed it. I like now, this washer bottle too. I love it. That is, that's one of uh, yeah. I, I just know. just just just. Oi, that's my yard. That's I, I don't know what that was. Go, you can go. It's, it, you can it's, go. And it's mouldy and green. Right. I will. I will. I will dispose of that properly. In a minute. Right. Things <laughs> I do know about this pickup truck. Right. Okay. It came from Oklahoma. Yeah. Right. Um, and I think the man basically, what he does, as far as I understand, is fill these full of exciting valuable stuff, like, and then just uses the pickup truck as a rolling sled to get them here. Okay. So it don't go. That would be quite apparent by mm -hmm. the fact that we appear to have no manifold, no carburetor, no distributor. We have got the top bit of the distributor, which probably isn't going to work. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and it was last, according to the Oklahoma tag, on the back bumper might have gone in 2001 when it was parked so that was a bit of a time ago that's like 23 years ago crikey yeah so it's those. been we we are assuming that 23 years ago it worked or it didn't that's why i parked it up mm -hmm. we know it's automatic yeah. we know that's a v8 we have got some of the bits maybe not all of them we don't know if it rolls over we know park works. Park works. Park okay. works. We know half the tyres don't stay inflated. Yeah. We know that the back bed, we'll show you in a minute, is a bit full of rubbish and um, and stuff. And it would appear that the rest of the air conditioning system, along with a fair selection of engine parts, is on the bench seat in the front. Okay. So I don't think we're going to be needing the air conditioning for a minute, but we may be needing. We need some vital parts, though. Don't yeah. We? Well, I think by the quick peruse I had, because what what the fellow had done is. He never tried to get this going, but he decided to buy some cylinder heads because one of those is over there. They're all dismantled. Yeah. And there's another cylinder head in the boot. That's all dismantled. But that one in the boot's cracked. He's got right, cracked. On, it's got a hairline. Right, cracked, cracked and dismantled. Fracture, yeah. That's that right, bump. Was that a wasp, bumblebee, uh, I don't know, bee, whatever. We're not going to yeah, I think that's a bee. That's a bee. We like bees. Yeah, bees are bees, bees, bees good. Are Wasps are a pain. I do know the warp pump turns. Yeah, that's, that's um, at least something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alternator has got some clearance issues. That's hitting against the bracket, right? The yeah, bracket's yeah. It's on upside down. I don't. No, it's no. In I the think. Wrong area. No, it's not. No, no. Just because it's slack, isn't it? So if it was pulled over in like that, see, oh, it's. Oh, okay, okay. That's okay, been. Okay. So we're assuming that that will be good. Um, power steering pump. Don't know. Because we're going to have to do then. We're going to show these good people our selection of parts. 
Should we, the give them, should we give them the tour? We'll give them the, the tour the of our quality Silverado. This is a Chevrolet C10, as far as I know, isn't it? Yes. We've got half, half. Oh, we're going to need that. Half of one at least. Yeah, we're going to need that because we haven't got any of them. I was going to think if we can get it turned over, I'm using silicon and hope. So it's a yeah. well-renowned proper way for fixing the lack of having any gaskets. We're but we get lucky; the rest of them might be stuck with the manifold. I think I think I do recall seeing a bit of. Um... We got some American mouse doofus down. It's a rat doofus all over the place. Oh, lovely! There's a big pile of it down there with a bracket that doesn't appear to be attached to the engine. We have a towel that I'm not touching. Well, I'm going to have to touch it to move it, oh, but that's yeah, oh. that's, that's that's pretty grim. And, and we have got one new gasket, but we don't know what it's for. So what we're going to try and do is see if we can persuade this into working. Bloody hell. It'd be all right. <laughs> It's got two chances, isn't we're it? We're going to have to pray to the gods and of Chevrolet. To well, we need to this one we are, The likelihood of that being stuck is fairly high. Yeah, I can see there's some uh, antifreeze and stuff at the back of the engine there, so I'm assuming that. No, there is some green. It's green coolant. Yeah, we got the coolant. No, we can't have coolant. No, we but, haven't got any but when, they, when they remove the um, inlet, ah. it's water cooled. Yeah, it would have dropped down. So do, I would do you imagine mean this, this emptied do, its do, entire Do you mean that this is a water-cooled the... engine? I would never have guessed. It that. certainly is. It's got oil. Oh, Don't smell that bad, actually. I'm not doing a derrick and sticking my finger in it. No. It's on the low mark. That's always reassuring. Is that low or level? I think that's, yeah, that's level. level. Level, right? Well, that's good on the Americans because in British, that's that's, that's a problem. Full. Yeah. Right. So, what I think we need to do, I'm going to go and show these good people round, and then we're going to have to see one of that turns over. Yeah. And if it doesn't turn over, which I, I reckon that's going to be stuck. Yeah. So, let's let's let's. let's, let's yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll do the easy bit and show the people around this uh, treasure. Yeah, because we've got stuff flowing everywhere. Oh, well, we have got two spark plug leads attached. Oh, that's, that's something. Yeah, it's a start. And then we're going to have to see if we can get this to go. If we have enough parts to get it to go. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong, Al? Nothing, mate. Be perfect. That will be running in an hour. <laughs> for these guys, an hour. Yeah, yeah, no, about, about four day. days for us. Right, so for the quick tour. It has headlights and a front grille. Apart from that, headlight, for some strange reason, appears to be pointing at the floor. <laughs> quite know what happened there, but that's all I can tell, using my mechanical skills, that that is probably broken. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Now, obviously, we've been quickly in here, and we do, as you can see, there's quite a lot of engine missing. So, if we go around here, that tyre has fallen off. Yep. Yeah, nice. So I've got some tyres, we might get all excited and put some rollables on it, mm -hmm. so we can roll it around, because it is quite light out here and we may need to move it. Yeah. Now, if you look in through this window, you will see that the cab is full of stuff. Now I need to attain access to the cab, so it did come with a door without a dent in it. Okay, and but, oh, that's look, gonna stop the rednecks from sticking oh, your vehicle, that, isn't that it? Is, I mean, the smoothness of that. Now I haven't tried opening this a minute. Oh! Oh. So in here we have an abundance of charcoal. <laughs> barbecue charcoal. So we need to go barbecuing this weekend. I think that's what it is actually charcoal, isn't it? Yes, yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Judge, yeah. <laughs> it's all over the yard. There's, a, there's, a lot of, there's quite a lot of charcoal in there, isn't there? I guess they like the barbecues. Oh, dear. <laughs> right, as I said, there's the air conditioning system. Okay. All the remnants of it. We've got some mouse doofus and a bit of trim. Yeah. Now, I do know down there, poking out, is a distributor and what may possibly be a fuel pump. Yeah. Now, the ignition barrel key bit oh. is, <laughs> is there. It's for remote starting. That's for remote starting. <laughs> and this dashboard is not cracked. She's in the beautiful next. And just so that everyone thought we aren't lying earlier, uh, there is the sign that says, don't nick it, it's not broken. Well, it's broken. <laughs> So then we need to return, we need to go to the back, because the back is a place full of treasure. <laughs> so we have the dustbin air filter. And look. 
Yeah. There oh, is it? three beauty rings, but not four. Yeah. All right. That, I reckon, is the manifold there with a bit of shirt stuck in it. Yep. Yep. That is a spare cylinder head, but it's cracked. Indeed. It does come with a Christmas tree illuminating oh, thing. Oh, look at that for the full on effect. Yes, yeah, that, that, that is a uh, leftover American Christmas tree device. I think Mrs. Deezer would love this. Yeah, I think she'll be really chuffed if I, I bring it I think she would. Yeah, yeah. So we've also got quite a lot of refuse, haven't we? We have some bits. I'm assuming these are possibly rails for the sides. Yep. Yeah. We have some bits of wood with lots of holes in them. Lots of holes in them. Hmm. And quite a lot. It's like a wooden cage, so that you've got the holes into... Yes, yeah, we've got lots of refuse. So we'll probably just leave that in there. So don't think that is my problem. So it would appear someone has been... And we've got a plant, but, it's, but it must be the plastici plant. Because it wouldn't be alive otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, yeah plastiche. Yeah. Plastiche. So we come back this side. I mean, it's actually quite square. It's not very rusty. There's a bit of grot, amazingly enough, for an American pickup truck in the cab corner down there. So there's a few little holes. That is a better tyre because that is inflated. Yep. Yeah, it's got the patinaed roof, though. Have you spotted yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, it's got a patinaed roof. We have got the rear lights somewhere, and anyone else just will just go down here because it is a Chevrolet. It says so on the tailgate, but it is missing its saddle badge. Uh -huh. Now it is last tagged in Oklahoma in December of two thousand and one. So we are assuming uh, that was probably the last time it went, and it has got a Bundy bumper on the back of it, according to that big sticker there. Bundy. Bundy. Ah. Um, this side has got the one correct size tyre and a light because we have got the other light. It's got the Bundy bumper strap. It's got a Bundy bump, a bungee bumper strap. Um, and it, to be honest, structurally, it ain't bad. A no. little bit of grot in that cab corner down there. Patina, um, something has happened to the rear. <laughs> it's, it's not quite pointing <coughs> in the right plane. No. Oh dear. And we do seem to have an awful lot of DHL boxes and toot and the remnants of a car cover. Right, so in here we have got. There is a. Shall we pass useful bits? Okay. What so what we now? reckon that is? That's, a, that's any, a vacuum valve from EGR or something, isn't it? There is lying in the footwell wrapped up a distributor. Oh, can have that. Right. that. Yep. And then we got one more vacuum line, some more charcoal, and some bolts. I like the way that they've chopped the wires out. Huh? Well, I'm going to go and put that over here with the other selection of stuff because we have got the rear brakes. They are there in a bucket. Minty. Well, they won't. You can see the quality of the um, the service regime. <coughs> so they've also taken them out because they didn't work. Send it. We've made he uh, taken the cylinder heads apart that he bought to go on it, labelled it all up, but we know no, no, we're going to need them. Okay, we may be missing a few wires on here. Right? Oh dear. Oh no, it plugs in on here. So what are these wires? For? I don't know. I reckon that's capped off, that's proper. Yeah? Someone's just scooched them up. Don't, don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll find out about that later, won't we? Yeah, I'm sure we can sort that. So, and then inside somewhere, we do have the carburetor. I'm possible to say that the headlining may be a bit mouldy. Don't think I'm going to touch that. And this, <laughs> this piece trim. Yeah. Uh, I kind of like the way that the seat's kind of like... It's only covered a genuine 24,000 miles. Really? Uh, uh, well, no, it's probably 100, 224,000 miles. I mean, mm. I don't know, there ain't much wear on the steering wheel. It has got it's a got tiltable a bit of play in the rack. It's got a tiltable column. That's not play. That's, that's worse. That's, 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 that's like land. That's worse than land. Trophy. It's got the inbuilt air conditioning windows. Oh, hang on. Jeez. No, 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 yeah. no, no. Close, no. close, close. Close, 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 close that now. <laughs> close that now before it, before it dies and we can't find it. No, we're just going to we're just gonna put that there because that's broken. 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 So it does have the ACs. It's got Tommy Two Knobbage. She is there. Hang on, we're going to have to adjust camera for Tommy Two Knobbage. There she is, but she is like a Tommy One Knob. 
because one of the knobs has fell off. <laughs> and it is column change automatic. We have got to go and have a look in the glove box and we see what's in the glove box. Oh, we yes. go around here. Right. What is in? Does it open? Oh! Ah! What have you found? Well, the paperwork and mould. Oh! There is its build stickery thing in there. It came with tinted glass, all windows, front colour air conditioning. It's a fleet side pickup. It's got uh, EQU, rear axle, standard, heavy duty springs, power brakes, auto. It's got a five litre V8 gas engine, three speed automatic. It's got an auxiliary fuel tank, so it's one with two fuel tanks. Okay. You've got a fuel tank flat to your side. Yep. Right, yeah, it's got the awful changeover valve that never changes over. Oh, so you always have one tank full. One around. tank full and Just... one tank definitely empty. Mm -hmm. It does have power steering. It's got rally wheels. They're still on it. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It has a cargo area lamp. Yeah, that's kind of hanging off. That's kind of hanging off. off. And it was originally fitted with 20575 15 tyres. It's a Silverado. Mm -hmm. And it's a deluxe two-tone paint. Uh, 12 frost white. And... Car means but don't know. So basically we need to be hanging on to that because that might be useful. I think the rest of the gook in here I might just leave alone because it's a bit Oh yeah, it's a bit septic. Jeez. Yeah, oh hang on, what is that? It's got its own ecosystem. It's got a, it there. comes with an American pencil. Oh. All the way from America. That's an American now, but that's vintage that is. That's from the I bet there ain't many two thousands. Oklahoma builders pencils left, but put that on eBay. Yeah, stock bit of 99p. Right, now we've ridiculously taken the piss out of it. My door card is a bit flappy. Well, your door card's better than this door oh, card. Oh, your door card's just got them. Hang on. This. Unbelievably, that door didn't latch beautifully when I slung it there. It's because I forgot to put the bolt on. Yeah, obviously someone likes putting their arm out the window. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The velour is still sort of hanging on in there. Yeah. Oh, the windows work. I didn't go for your lucky window option, and we really must make sure that window doesn't leave. Yeah. Right. Ooh. So, using my spidey skills, mm -hmm. crank nut is five eighths of an inch. It's going to be imperial, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's going to be imperial. Right. Is it going to be that small? Yeah, it is. Honestly, I, I had a, um, I say it is definitely, after a bit of faffing around, quite dinky. Yeah, it ain't very big. And there ain't no try sense trying to turn it on the fan. Yeah. Because that's not. <laughs> so I, give what, us a false hope. You're like, yeah, that's yeah. free. <clears throat> so what we're going to try and do is get this ratchet in here without getting attacked by a rather sharp metal fan. And see if this rolls over. I am not very keen on the fact that I think it is definitely five eighths vintage. Yes, it is. What is and, uh, oh, no. Shall we go and get a bit? I'll go and get a bit of pipe. Just see if we can roll it over with a bit more force. Okay. Ah. Do 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 do. It's never a better chat convenient scaffold tube when you need it. What I could do is get professional and get a much bigger bar. I reckon you're going to want bigger than that. Well, right? let's, let's, let's just hope. It's possibility that it is just, what do the Americans say? Frozen. <laughs> yeah, there is a possibility that it is just frozen in that one spot and with a bit of wigglage on this tiny bolt on the front of the crank, which we need not to snap off, by the way. Yeah. Yes, yeah. If, it's, if it feels like it's going to snap off, we're going to have to come up with another grand and cunning plan. And I'm definitely too short to work on one. Oh, there is like a whole mouse environment in this radiator. That's proper American 
Yeah. That's American rat doofus in there. And their rats are going to be big, aren't they? I would imagine. <laughs> right. Oh! Ooh. No way. She went then, didn't she? She did. I think we're just tightening the nut now. But if we tighten the nut up a bit, we might be able to come backwards. Okay. So if I ho hoik the sparky plugs out and whack a load of stuff down the balls, because I reckon that's just... Hit. Oh, that went a bit further. It's making a... <laughs> noises. Well, that's good, because I was expecting that to be seized solid. Yeah. Right. The fact yeah. that you couldn't turn it to start with was like, oh, no. No. So it was a little bit stuck, and due to the large bar and some rhinoceroseing, it's now not. I think I'm going to swap to the ratchetable bar. Yeah. Or ratchetable. You see, you now can buy ratchetable breaker bars. Really? Well, they're probably going to be more breaky than a standard breaker. Bar. Imagine, so. Do you, 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 you want to get all excited and check on the quality of the brake juices? I mean, we know that the rear brakes are currently Bluetooth and in a bucket over there. Wow. We have, we have. Um, we got any? We have some on the back. What about the front? The front's a little bit non-existent. No. It might be that that's the front and that's the back. Okay, well, the, back, the back, the back's pretty much. Oh no, no, way. that is the front line because it's going right at the front there. So it is the front that. Are we are discs or drums. We are discs on Ooh, this. Gosh. I, did, I did have a little look earlier on when uh, I was like, "Ooh, so doing it, well." It even says on the pedal, "Disc brakes." Brakes. Blowing me. <coughs> I've retrieved that nice and easily. You did. That was quite graceful. Graceful. Let me see if I can fix this light. I think I think you're being a bit preemptive there, really. To be honest, I do. No, it's that it's definitely on the on the. That light is probably the least of our worries at current. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna need that bit of pipe again. Right. Well, let's try and see because this fan is not sharp at all. Should I get your bigger, longer handle, Ratchet? Shall we get all professional and take the spark plugs out of it? I think so. Do you think you can manage that? I we are going to need a little man step. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to. We're going to. I could actually climb in there. No, actually, no, I won't. Well, you can climb in there if you want. No, it's going to have. So, if we took the sparking plugs out, yeah, assessed on the situation and the condition of them, yeah, and then squirt some squirty in there. Pour it, fill it full of oil, wing it over a bit. WD forty. Anything's better than nothing, isn't it? Yeah. They'll all moan about. No, you keep going like this and that. No, no, no. But, but it's good for breaking lubrication. Up Things that are greasy go easy. So, and then I think really it might be worth taking the rocker cover off and checking that we have valve based movement. I know we're at risk of having to put rocker cover gaskets in it, but I think that's the least of our worries at the moment. Mind, uh, mind you, we should be able to see if we put a torch down there whether the valve's stuck open or. I think if we didn't did four, well, they ain't going to be 10 mil bolts, are they? Hang on, I reckon they might be seven, seven sixteenths of an inch. I'll go and get my yakadaka gun. Yep. Okay, well, I'll so go and get a spark plug spanner. You go and get a spark plug spanner. I'll go and get a yakadaka gun. We'll put the time lapses on. Yeah. And then I think we get a spark, squirty, squirty. spark plugs out. Yakadaka the, um, yakadaka the rocker covers off. Yeah. Or what, they, what the Americans call them, valve. Valve covers. Valve covers, yeah. But aluminum. We the yeah, yeah. Well, we ain't got well, ain't aluminum. Gas. They ain't chrome. <laughs> no. <laughs> and um, and then we'll obviously have to be very careful on this professional wiring harness. And there appears oh. to be, for some strange reason, a large lump of tin foil down the bank there. Probably aluminum. Oh, aluminum. 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 
and we have a bit of t-shirt wedged in where the distributor goes in a vain attempt to stop any cac getting in there small rodents but i think it may be worth getting sucky hattie out and we could suck that big pile of rat shit down inside there in the wing and we could because let's say we do manage to get this to go as soon as this fan comes alive all of that mouse nest in there is going to be coming this way now and fill up the carbotuta full of in the carbotuta and us in in 20 year, 20 year old american ratchet yeah yes plan 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 Have that bit of tea. Ah, this thing is sharp in places. You don't want it to be sharp. That bonnet thing has had me twice. It's okay. We've got gaffer tape and super glue out. Yeah, I'm having that off in a minute because I can see pain come in there. There's right, two some, screws. Some wrap some bubble wrap around two it. Bolts. Right. Well, we're going. Well, we appear to have. <laughs> have. It's not as bad in there as I was expecting it to be. No. Normally, with my experience. Experience. experience well many many years ago from what i can remember experience in taking the rocker covers off it was usually a big thick black back of pile of guns horrible goo but this seems to have been be serviced quite regularly by the look of it well yes or not driven very much well not driven very much what about all the other what about the other i'm just going to slosh oil all over the, in this valley just to vaguely attempt to and i think what we could do is did you have say you had the squirties I did. I think it might have been something I ate. I'll just get squirty oil your... from over here. Yeah. And see if this valve train moves. And I have found me stupidly long ratchet. That was right in front of me. That was right in front of me because I lost it. Yeah. So if we can get this back on there. I even found, have you noticed the genuine mud dauber nest? Look at that. Off the fan. Never seen, there's mud, no, always going on about mud dubberness. There you are. Yeah. yeah. Bit, of, bit of genuine dirt there. Nice. Mud. <laughs> and I have cleaned all of the much of the rat doofus and yeah. gone and washed my hands again. Yeah. Out of this. There's almost right. the whole contents of a bag. Yeah, and I think I may have forgotten to put the, the the filter in the vacuum cleaner. So what happened was it just blew all the dust that way. Yeah, I'm glad you turned it in away that from direction you. Yes, yes, that, I thought that when I fired yeah. it up. Yes, that would have been not right. very pleasant. Must do for shall, some shall we see if we can get revolutions out of this and what moves and what doesn't. Okay, those valves are moving. Nice. Nice. Nicey, nice, nice. Oh, so far, so good, out. Oh, well, it isn't apart from me. Ratchets just fell off the crank again. We'll have to go back into the rat mess down here and put that back on. Ooh, sharp fan. It's coming off in a minute. Got a full set of lifting lifters. Right, so that's definitely doing revolutions. Yeah. The valves seem to be opening and closing as they should. Mind you, I think that's the least of our worries at current. Yeah. Maybe we should attempt seeing what happens if we plug the ele happens when we plug the electrical system in. Because we might as well use use the power of, of the, the starter, starter motor to make a horrible mess under this bonnet with squirt oil. Yeah. And seeing if we can get it turning over freely. And then we could also see if it builds any description of oil pressure. Um, I think it might be looking like it's not actually as bad as we thought it was. No. 
because I was expecting that. But, well, the valley wasn't full of gat. You could see that pretty quickly. And so hopefully, by the look of it, it hasn't been run to death on khaki oil. So the valves are opening and closing and it's making whooshing noises. Yeah. Um, then there's a possibility of some description of compression, isn't there? Yeah. Um, the spark plugs, although quite 1990s, probably will function. It's yeah, weather. I mean, they look pretty good, to be fair. I, I mean, think yeah, like. our problem is going to come with rocker cover gaskets, the inlet manifold gaskets, and stuff like that, isn't it? I mean, the inlet, to be fair, we can goosh. Yeah, well, that it there, you could wear. That, that I think, is normally goosh. Well, it's, it's, normally cork, it's normally a cork one between three mm, words, yeah, I think. Yeah, no, yeah. Right. Let's have a bit of, a bit of manker tin for that. That can go in that headlock bucket over there. So that is the TV cable for the gearbox, isn't it? That can go over there. Yep. So if we move the top quality wiring harness out of the way enough to get this thing wanging over without mushing anything, causing any electrical fires, and we'll see if she'll turn over. I mean, we are, we are assuming that we have a starter motor. There's an oil felt tray down there, and there is a starter motor down there. Beautiful. I'm not sure. Oh, it has got a lead on it. It's here. That's the, that's, so that's the positive. Yeah. And the neg negative, she now attached. That's okay, we can attach. What is that for then? That's... Don't know, we, we'll worry isn't about that. Isn't that a shield that, that goes... It's not no, it's got an alternator adjusted bit in it, isn't it? Is that actually part of what sits on there then? So that adjuster... No, well, it, what is that, that? It's got ah, it's probably off the bottom. No. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, no, yeah. no, we're bending those. That's supposed to be there, isn't it? So basically, it's that to the manifold, isn't it? So we're going to need to make up an earth lead for it. Um, there's the fuel pump pickup. There is a fuel pump in it. So. We'll see if anything disgusting fuel base comes out of it. Yeah. Um, I think Matey took the manifold off of it, didn't he? I don't know. By what know. I sort of understood. I don't know whether it came in like that. It did look like that towel had been in there for 10 years, didn't it? It did look a bit. So that. So we may have some detritus in the valve holes. So should we get an airline Give her a bit of a blow. blow just to make sure that, I mean, we're either going to blow it in or blow it out, aren't we? It should be all right, or do we? Yeah. 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 Let's work on trying to put a jump start pack on it then. See if we can get it to turn over or get any life. Yeah? Yeah. Right. So, what we are going to attempt now, we're on fire test, aren't we, Fudgy? We are. So Fudgy is attempting on. to work the ignition, which is broken, doesn't have any keys, using a screwdriver. I'm going to stick it into park anyway. Can you make anything turn? He's, uh, ignition is on. Right, hang on, let me find something to work on here that looks Earth-like. I found the power cable. Okay. Oh, we have noises! We've got light dome-like thingies. I don't know what that noise is. Well, it's gone off. Okay. What happens? Any light? Um... No... Nothing? Hang on, I'll switch ignition off and I'll switch it back on. Nothing. Might no be likes. something due to the fact that all of these cables here are not... Hang on, what is that? It's all totally de detached, isn't it? So you would assume that the two big reds... Well, well we, ha we have um, 13 volts of battery, which is good. Well, that means it's hooked up to... Ah, uh, hang on. We've got a whole selection of chewed wiring not attached to a starter motor. Oh. Er... Uh. And there's no, hang on. Uh, I think we may have, we've got one big heavy cable, which I reckon, I don't know what that is, because it's definitely not attached to anything. It's like something's eating it off. Oh. That could be... Oh, I think I found... No. 
Let me just get my short person tie around that. It's used for a worn out sprinter wheel. Oh! <laughs> This wiring is very exciting down in there. No wonder none of it works. So we've definitely got some electricals coming up to the cab. Let me go and get a power probe a minute and see if I can scare it into working. Okay. Found me power probe. Wonder bar. I've left it in a stupid place. Oh. That's right. Not that stupid because I managed to find it. <laughs> Right, so are you ignition on? Ignition is on. Bibbidi 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 Don't know what that's doing. Right, uh, any more lights? Nope. There is lots of flaming electricals down there. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing. We've got two wires coming off the starter, one of which, this one I reckon here, is the trigger. So I reckon if I ow, stick this thing in my finger like this, if I do this. Yeah. No. Nope. Oh, yeah. the, the, volt, the um, battery light, well, not to say battery light, the battery gauge was sort of flickering then. Yeah. Didn't like that very much. That's definitely power. Ow. Right. So that's trigger. And then we don't know what either of the... These two don't seem to be doing anything. So what wiring is going down to my starter motor? That's alternator. Power, power. So, ooh, let's just do that up. Power. Right, hang on. Anything come alive? Nope. I think that's the starter motor trigger wire. But it doesn't function. Right, let's go for charring things across the starter motor poles. Okay. Do you, want the, 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 do you want the ignition left on? Well, it's hardly going to start, is it? Well, no, it's not going to start. <laughs> But you know what I'm saying. Yeah, keep an eye on the oil pressure gauge if it does turn over. Not that it's going to hurt it, but hurt okay. it. Right, does the starter motor do anything? Now the motor turns. Yeah. Ooh. Right. So starter motor. Sort of functions, but I can't see the trigger wire at all. That's the main cable. Let's try that heavy current wire here again that doesn't seem to be doing anything. That one. And then, lost my spanner. I think there's a fair chance that the solenoid might be stuck. No. Uh, that's possible that it's quite easy to extract from the vehicle. Would it, would it, be that there's not enough battery juice in the battery? No, it's spinning the starter, isn't it? Can you, um, hang on, which one do we reckon is the ignition? All right. Just turn the key to start, make sure it's in park. Yeah, I've put it in park. Just to make sure that it is park. Yeah, but it's park. Oh, I've got brake light come on when I put the um, starter into start position. Right, so hold the starter in start. I've got to press the brake. Yeah. Ugh. For what it's worth. 
yeah, the brake's stuck. That's fine, it shouldn't have to press the brake, it's not that bright, there's no mark. Do that again, So turn it on to start. That's on the start position. Mm. Oh, hang on. No. Right, we're going to go and need to look at the starter motor wiring. Or the starter motor, because there ain't nothing happening up here at all. Ah. Um, I'm going to attempt to make some. I've got a set of Goodyear Wrangler tyres that we took off a Jeep a while ago that are the right size. They're a bit crispy, but they're less crispy than the ones that are on here, so we'll have blown up wheels. Yep. I'll do that. You're going to see. I'm going to take the starter motor off. Starter motor off. So <laughs> that'll keep us amused for a bit, and we'll see if we can get the turns over and the electricals. Yep. Cool. Right. Time lapsing. Starter motor taken off. I shall be back immediately with some tyres. Beautiful. on to an alternator that's not really attached to the vehicle. Yep. We'll have a nice live cable. We are switched on on there, aren't we? Yeah. Do you want to make sure the ignition's on or is that not going to worry? It shouldn't hurt it, but if you go and turn the ignition on, yep. sit in it, because it'd be nice and warm in there by now. <sighs> Cat on a hot tin roof type stuff. <laughs> I did open the other door up because the window didn't seem to want to go down on it yeah. for some reason. It's actually not too bad in here. Right, so in theory, if I stab this black wire with some electrical stuff, it should turn over, shouldn't it? Okay, ignition's on. Uh, hang on, I need my tyre. I've successfully put tyres on my pickup truck and made it, or the pickup truck and made it taller. Mm. So which one did we reckon was? Stata motor wire, that one. No. Nope. Do you want me to try the key again? Give it a go. Just mind, mind your hands a minute. Yep. No. Right, so which wire did we reckon was the start of the black one coming the up? The black from? one coming up, yeah. yeah. It's a fairly heavy current black, isn't it? Ah. ah. Oh, it's linked to, I know why I couldn't find it. It's linked to a bit of blue wire down there. Ah. Right, watch the oil pressure gauge. Okie dokie. Okay. We've got fuel coming out. Ooh. Don't think you quite call it fuel. Is it like orange snot? Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. Let me just go and get a plastic pot. <laughs> Where have we put that? Did you move it again? I put it in. I put it in the in the bin. Oh. So it's no, there's nothing bad in the bin there. It was just put there so then you don't get left outside and blown around the place. Tent on throwing my plastic pot away, aren't you? That's the second well, if, time. If I'd left it in the yard, you'd have been like, "That's offending <laughs> me." <laughs> right. So we got a fuel pump. The pumps. Yeah. Do we just see what this goo coming out of here looks like? Is it like oompa loompa snot? Mm. Oh, yes. I'm trying not to make any sparks now I've completely covered the place in petrol. <laughs> Just turn the electrics off. Was there any movement on an oil pressure gauge? Absolutely zero. Uh -huh. Ooh. Ooh. So you should give that a sniff. That's nice. Ah, twenty, cider. 20, Thank 20 you year old cider petrol. If you want to drink day. that, mate, you carry on. Whoa. Jeez, a bit juicy. Jeez. So, shall I just... Make sure. Exciting stuff because we're going to have to try and get squirt petrol over there, not over me. Right, we're going again, all right? Okay. Is 
So no moving on the oil pressure gauge at all? Nothing. Nah, mine probably ain't going over I don't fast think it's enough. spinning fast enough for it. So what we need to work out then is which wire is the ignition trigger wire, don't we? I'm going to put that fuel over there because that's proper pungent. Oh, yes, that, that's bad. Ooh. So... I smell it. So someone's cut through. That's why we were having... Oh, no, that is the ignition. So they've cut a lump out of it. Ah, OK. So that one sort of wrapped around here twice over and joined in there. And So they reckon that this one is the ignition trigger wire. Which has absolutely nothing off of it at all, I don't think. But anyway, it turns over. Beautiful. So, do we want to try putting the spark plugs back in? And then we put a bigger battery on here and see if we got any compressions. We can give that a go. Mind you, it was. Yeah, but we need to put plugs back in anyway. We now know it does the rotating. Yeah. The valve gear is all moving, the valve train's all moving. Yeah. And we're not going to expect the valves not to be horrible. No. And then we're going to need to turn to some parts, possibly some battery leads, because we haven't got any of them. Yeah. And some gaskets for the rock, for um, the rock yeah, covers. Yeah. But we could put the spot we could put plugs back plugs in. Plugs back in, check check to check that it's got our compression. Yeah. Um yeah, because like you said, we're gonna need to get some parts of the Timmy, aren't we? We're gonna need to get some parts from somewhere. But we know we know where the fuel pumper works. Well that's good. Yeah. So what we worth, I'll get pumping the fuel tank out. Yeah. Because that's pretty going to be pretty grim. Yeah. And then... Um, I'll put the plugs in then while you're doing that and then... Uh, yeah, we'll see where we go and then we might need some bits. Yeah. I think we're definitely going to need some bits. Well, we're getting somewhere. It turns over. We're not getting yeah. anywhere very fast. And we have got two blown up front tyres. We have. We have. And with the white wall lettering on them. Look. And start them out with the works. I mean, they might be horribly dry rotted and they were in the tie pile around the back, the scrap ones, but, but they're American. They came off of a Jeep. Jeep? Hmm. An American imported Jeep. Uh -huh. So we haven't got any dash wiring, but that's probably those sockets down there, isn't it? Because they're renowned for that. These ones. That's where, it's all pl that's where everything plugs in. Yeah. So I think I we mean, need it to... It has. I mean, there's, there's a bare wire. I mean, what? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's not even attached not to even anything. Yeah. That's going to do a lot of good. Right. So if we get the plugs in then... And yep. we'll see if we can get any compression out of it. Get a slightly bigger truck battery on it. Yeah. It's a lock truck battery. And then see if we can get it to turn over at reasonable speed. Yeah, make sure it's got oil pressure. Yes, I mean, there's a possibility that we just don't have a body earth as well. It's going to need a body earth in order for well, that. Well, I mean, unless it has got an earth strap between the chassis and the... I mean, there's well, wiring hanging off everywhere. Yeah, I mean, there's there's an oil That's light right. switch on top of the on top of the um, oil filter housing with nothing attached. To oh there. yeah, but the switch is dangling behind it's it. It's hanging in behind we it. We could plug that back in for a laugh. Um, God, that petrol. That's genuine 2001 American fuel, that is. Yeah, genuine. Genuine. Yes. Quite happily sat in there putting spark plugs back in. I am. I am. I identify as a supercharger. No, yeah, do you? Yeah. Yeah. I found my spanner I lost earlier. <laughs> well, at least you can see it in there, can't you? I and mean, I've got rid of all the rat doofus now. So you have. Better. You have. Uh, right. I'm going to go and have a look at this inlet manifold. Because mm -hmm. the manifold has to go on before the distributor. Indeedy. And I'll see if the carburetor, which has been soaking in a parts cleaner for three hours, has deceased itself. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was. It was pretty. It was pretty bad. Yeah. But I mean, on the upside, we do now know we've got a functioning fuel pump, and we yeah. do appear to have a valve train that moves. Maybe we'll know in a minute if we've got any compressions. Start motor works. We've got a yeah, tire on there. Um, yeah, we've got no dash electricals, but we'll get to that in a bit. This thing is just a bit of a shed, really, isn't it? It, it is. A, it's one of the. Um, Oh, crikey, I've just, don't, don't, I didn't break uh, that, by the way. No, that plastic water bottle. That plastic water yeah, bottle. That's dead anyway. Yeah, I this, had to this, vacuum this is, it up earlier on. This is definitely uh, one of the biggest missions Timmy has sort of yeah, put our way, nice. isn't yeah, yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, this isn't, this is, yeah. I think this is going to be like a, 
two-parter. I think this is going to be a two-parter because we haven't even got any in that manifold gaskets. <laughs> no. And that's a a functioning carburetor. Yeah. Or any wiring. No. No. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's too hot. It is. Seeing as you've just put the Sparkington plugs back in, mm -hmm. we'll give this battery pack one last check. This wiring is bad. Shall we see if we've actually got any compressions? Yeah. Uh, have I turned the battery pack on? Yep, he's on 12. Oh, we must not have an earth. No, no, we haven't. Right, we need to find something slightly better as because. And we have there got we go, a vehicle that's... we have got a vehicle body earth then. Yeah. Right. Ooh. I think we get that bit of pipe a minute that we had earlier. Yeah. And um we'll Slot find a battery in. quickly. And I think we put that bit of pipe so it pumps fuel uh into that tub. Don't you think that's a good idea? I think so. If we get a slightly I'll better battery, tub. I'll go and whip up a battery. I'm going to stick the tub in here. In fact, we have um, invented this vast amount of battery. So we've clamped the battery lead to the inlet, where the inlet manifold needs to bolt on for a minute. Mm -hmm. These two tubity clamps are identifying as battery terminals. We have this piece of wire which is identifying as a starter motor cable, as a starter motor trigger wire. Yeah. And if we do this, it should turn over slightly. Ooh! Ooh. Well, it's, it's spurting fuel out of a hole in the line down. That's fine. We can deal, deal with that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's quite a lot of nuts and stuff coming out of everywhere, isn't it? Ah. Uh, what? That valve didn't move. I'm going to shorten the fuel cap pipe a minute so it doesn't spew fuel all over us. Which valve's not moving. So the third one in. At the back. At the back. Oh, it's just I think they're hydraulic lifters, aren't they, or are they not? Mm, I'm a Mercedes diesel man. Hydronic lifters. It's American. <sighs> right, let's do that, and then that, we can pump more manky fuel into the can down there. Yeah. So which one was not going up and down? So the third, third one in. Shall we move the wiring harness out of the valves just to make it look a wee bit more professional? It's not going to work, is it? It, it can sort of sit there. Yeah. What's not going up and down? Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely no valve movement there, is there? Nope. Pass me a hammer. Okay. Uh, or something that identifies as a hammer. Uh, do you want a big hammer or a little hammer? I just want one to test to see if it's the valve stuck or the push rod bent. No, because the push rod's moving. Oh. Is that a stuck valve then? It doesn't sound like a stuck valve. Oh, that valve is free. So is the, is the push rod moving? The push rod isn't moving. No, the it's, the ca it's the cam rising up and down. The, you know what I mean. Yeah, the cam, the cam the is rising up and down, but if it's an oil pressure. Yes, uh, but is there any, any movement out of the follower? No. Yeah, there is. Yeah, the follow the follower's moving up and down, but because there's no oil in it, it's not pushing the valve. That means the lifter's busy then, doesn't it? Mm. Right. Is that a stuck valve or? Yeah, there is no. Well, it's giving it. Yeah, there's giving it. There's just no take. Well, actually, to be honest, just keep wanking on it. Yeah. That's probably the least of our problems at the moment. It might go, it might go in, 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 in time. Mm. So, we've got ish something that might possibly sound like compression. Yeah. 
I've got, and then we're going to need to lift that lifter off, aren't we? We'll do that quickly now, and then we're going to need to order some gaskets. Shall we take these people around the back and show them the condition of the rest of the parts we've got? And carburetor. And we're going to need to do something with the carburetor. Because mm. this is going to take a while. Two part! <laughs> Maybe three, possibly four, five. <laughs> so currently, this is the problems that we are having. We don't have any inlet manifold. We don't have any um, rocker cover gaskets because they're all broken and they need soaking in a parts washer. Yep. This inlet manifold, intake manifold, is minging. Yeah. It appears to have some description of EGR through the centre of it. See the amount of gook in there? Yep. Um, would you like to demonstrate the flappiness of the carburetor? Yeah, there is yeah, nothing. There, there is nothing, nothing happening there at all, is there? No. So basically, that carburetor is seized solid. And those across, those. those oh, yeah, look. Judging, judging by that as well, they kind of rip the fuel they, pipe. The fuel, the fuel pipe we could manage. The trouble is, a lack of spares. That is just full of all sorts of disgustingness. And oh, that's, that's, well, that's yes. probably the only moving part. Oh, no, that, that, that one moves. that does move. Ah. So I mean, uh, yeah. I think we're in trouble, Mush, because that's the accelerator pump there. That, that does work. But this carburetor, which is a. Yes, centre of it, hang on, glasses. Oh, it's a quadrajet. Never heard of them. Quadrabog. Right. Hmm. So, anyway, this quadrajet carburetor may possibly, for the minute, have seen slightly better days because we're going to have to figure out a way. It's got a little bit of crud in the uh, throttle ring. Yeah, it's, it might possibly look like it's seen a bit of damp. Yeah. So we're going to have to work on that. We do have a complete distributor because the coil is in the top, isn't it, in these yeah. funny Americano things. Mm -hmm. We have got most of the wiring. and Obviously, it looks like it'll do whirlies. So that bit could be all right. It's this which is going to cause the problems. Yeah. And the fact that whilst we're turning it over, it's throwing nuts out of the... In their balls. <laughs> Just waiting for the waiting, yes. carcass of a And one of, one of the out. valves is not doing valvey stuff. Yeah. So I think we're going to have to have a plan that says this is not going to go today. I mean, I think we were sold it wrong in a duffin here because I thought this thing was complete, but it isn't, is it? Yeah. I think Timothy has wandered off with a bucket of bolts. He has, because I remember seeing the yeah, bucket well, of bolts. The carburetor bolts are missing, the manifold bolts are missing. Dizzy clamp. The, the clamp for the distributor is not here. And it's a pointless exercise until we have figured out what is wrong with that valve. Yeah. We're going to need, I think what we do is we soak this lot. That, that's going to want a bath. We might as well bathe these two in the parts washer. Stick that in the parts Stick washer. That in a, I think we probably could attempt that in a bucket of Diesel's quite expensive these days. We'll just put it in the parts washer. Parts washer. Because the parts washer is <coughs> not full of kerosene, obviously. Cause, no, because no, you're not supposed to do that. It's got a big sticker that said, don't put kerosene in there. So we took yes. note of that, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. It's not kerosene. It identifies not as, 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 as parts washer fluid. Parts, yeah. Um, and let this lot jolly for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. And then you lot are going to have to come back. But we have achieved some stuff. We've got it turning over, which it wouldn't this morning. Yeah. We've got tyres on the front that hold air. Yep. We have established that the wiring is awful, so we're going to have to have a look at the dash wiring. Because yeah. we've got to supply that, that with power. We yes. found the loom for that, haven't we? Yes, we have. Um, and we can, there's no point putting the, even if we clean this manifold up. Yeah, we need to. We I mean, need if you it looks like, it looks like, it, yeah, it looks like it's been in the sea. It looks like it's been the Titanic. Do I remember that, that, the Corvette came with. I'm pretty sure. I thought there was an awful lot of spares, wasn't there? And I'm sure there was. A, was there a carburetor as well? There might have been. I mean, because that is. Admittedly, we're going to have to steam that. Oh yeah. I might steam it in a minute and then chuck it in the password <coughs> because I mean I don't know whether you can. We'll bring you in here a minute for a look. So problems. This in here, as you can see. Looks like it's been at the bottom of the ocean. That might have gone down with the Titanic. We're going to have to clean on that. Mm -hmm. uh, just demonstrate the carburetor again. So our, Sorry, quadru yeah, our quadrajet. Yeah, 
No. That does just move. If you pull really hard, you can see that that will just budge. Yeah, no, yeah, no, that's, yeah. Yeah, so I, that's not very good. That we hope possibly could be all right. Mm -hmm. And then these aren't looking terribly special. So we're going to need some rocker cover gaskets. And I think we're going to need some inlet manifold gaskets, aren't we? I think we are. So I think for the point of today that we have, we have put, we found some tyres off of an old Jeep, lobbed them on the front. So that's got it levelled. Mm -hmm. and, and we are turning over in here quite happily, apart from if I demonstrate. I don't know whether you can see, where is my, lost me phone. So if you look at number, so it's the third set of lifters on the, uh, third set of rockers at the back there when I do this. He said try not to drop everything. Can you see the one that doesn't move? That's not supposed to be doing that. <laughs> so that's not supposed to be doing that, is it? So we've got to attend to that and then clean all that. But we are turning over. Mm -hmm. We've got pumping fuel because we must have quite a lot of mangy fuel in this can boy now. Wow. Oh, yes. Look at the nice orange sassy stuff in there. We've got another tyre this side. Yeah. Let's pass me some rocker covers. I'm going to go and swamp them. Ooh. Yeah, so we don't need the bits of gasket in and they can go in the back of the quality pickup truck. <laughs> the rest of the stuff. We need that. So let's slide them right in under here. Oh, they can go for a soak for the week for the weekend. We're gonna need that quadribog, aren't we? Yeah. yeah that's the one. Boggy quad. Body quad, but C's solid. So that might as well go in here for a... Because it's not going to hurt it, is it? No, you can't make it any worse. Well, no, at the moment it's not doing much of the carburetting, is it? Let's be honest. No. I mean, it, uh, it is pretty manky and C solid. So we've chucked that over there. Then we've got a massive inlet manifold, haven't we, that weighs about 13 tonnes. Yeah. Can you lift it on your own, or do you reckon I you're can, going to I can, I'm just removing the us? remainders of this inlet gasket. Oh! What's left of it. There we go. Do you reckon you can slide that in? Let me move this. That does, we can have that out for the weekend. Ooh, damn it. Can you slide that in under the edge of there? Just go that thing. Scoot it. That's pretty grim too, isn't it? Will it go in there? It will go in there. Yes, it's got a scoochy, scoochy. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I think the best part is we just let that nicely. So I just. Yeah, that's because that is minging, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I think I oh, might give that a few hours of settling in. Because that is full of gack, isn't it? Yeah. Scorchio. Skill Scorchio. So, can you make your Silverado go in one day? No, no. 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 No, not when it's been in a million pieces and half of it's missing. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we have achieved some stuff. It turns over, which it didn't this morning. Yep. The starter motor functions, which it didn't this morning. It has blown up tyres and we think we know what we're missing. We do. So we're going to go and need to order some parts. I reckon there's a possibility if we can figure out what's wrong with that valve. Cylinder 7 is either stuck or something's broken. Yeah, no, the, the, the hydraulics, I reckon, have gone in that lifter because there's literally... Mm, I don't know, I don't know whether the valve might be seized, but it hasn't hit anything. It might explain why it came with a load of cylinder heads. Yeah. So we'll order some gaskets. We know the fuel pump pumps, mm -hmm. and we know we've got to definitely empty the fuel tanks out because whatever in there is not classed as a flammable liquid anymore. No. Does it know about you, but that's all it, I can smell. It does pen and ink. Yeah, it burnt my nasal. Yes. Head. So basically, we're going to have to do a, probably a part two and maybe even a part three because I think this might be a bit of a challenge. Yeah. So I'm going to go and get Timothy ordering bits for this. Yeah. 
Because the problem with ordering bits for this is it would be nice and easy if we was in the Americas because it's a 350 Chevy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But we're not in the Americas, so it's going to take a few days at least to get. And then we have to consider whether we're having the heads off, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. In which case, we're going to need the head gasket. We're going to need a full head set. That sort of stuff. And a gasket set. And a functioning carburetor. And if we can get that, that quadrajet unseized. Mm, yes. Yeah. We'll go and see what, what other treasure Timmy's got hanging around because he's probably got He's bound to have some sort of space. You would have thought he'd have a big, big carburetor for some yank disaster hanging around somewhere, wouldn't he? I'd imagine so. Anyway, so it is Sunday, Saturday. It it's is red hot. We've had enough of pickup trucks for the day. If you won't come join us, but I think it'll be next weekend. We'll be doing something else. Yeah. Because we ain't going to get the bits for this by next weekend. Probably not. Thank you very much. Ow. Fudge. 60 diesels with a stupid American petrol pickup truck. Why could you just take it out for a big diesel engine in yeah. it? Yeah, we could suggest that. Yeah. Suggest that. We'll suggest it. Most yeah. Definitely.